soft. It's very hot. You want lime? Knowing me, it's gonna get on my white shirt. For sure. Okay. Kylie's coming from Dallas. Emily lives in Houston. And we are. What are we doing tonight? Is that. Oh, sorry. Let's, let's all cheers while we're all here. Boomerang. No. I'm sorry, I got my tachine on your. I know. Thank you for mom and her diligence and her loving time that she puts into our meal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> she was so patient. <laughs> Is that good? Mm. <laughs> yeah, my daddy. Mm. <laughs> so Alec was gracious enough to sweep the counters off of all of the things and put them on our dining table. It's currently almost midnight. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Did you know that Alec was a professional ballerina dancer back in the day? <laughs> it's almost midnight, but I needed this to be done so that in the morning I can reseal the countertops because it's been a little over a month. I think you're supposed to actually seal them every month before they get like super dry. Super dry like my heels. Ew. I mean, I don't see the effects of it yet, but I still need to get rid of all that, but I'm still making some bread, clearly. I'll show you what that process looks like. It's pretty simple. Having everything off the counters makes me feel like, oh, so refreshed. Like I want to have less stuff on my counters, but I just need a lot of stuff. It's Friday. Cove has a birthday party to go to this morning, and then I'll be dropping her off to daycare. A little bit late, but it allows me to get some stuff done at home. But I also am going to be picking up a few furniture pieces, which I'm really excited about. And I'll share with you as I go. I'm still waiting on this woman to see if she will take my offer on two tables on a coffee table and a like nightstand type of table, end table. Anytime I bring home a furniture piece that I'm really excited about or have been eyeing for a while, I get this rush of adrenaline to get it in the house or to just bring it home even if it's probably too heavy for me to carry i somehow am able to these are the two tables that i inquired about literally 20 or 30 minutes after she posted them on facebook marketplace because they are exactly what i had been looking for except that she had painted them and sealed them which i didn't really love the paint colors so i had to try a few things out first being the oven cleaner method, which I had tried previously with a different furniture piece and it didn't work very well. But I decided to use whatever was left over on this table because what I was really prioritizing was the coffee table. So I thought if this one didn't really work out very well, at least I would still be able to try something different on the coffee table, which I first started out to just sand down the top of the coffee table, which ended up taking a lot longer than I expected. I started breathing in a bunch of dust, so I had to forge together a little mask situation. After letting the oven cleaner set in for about 30 minutes, I was able to scrape off just the first layer of the polyurethane that I think was on the table. And that was a little satisfying, but honestly, it didn't do as much of a job as I hoped it would. So I just scraped off as much as I could and then proceeded to just wash it down so I could move on to a different method. All right, guys. It's been a couple of hours of me sanding, trying to get this paint off. And here's where we're at. Um, hopefully you can kind of see our pergola is kind of making it hard to see, but it's, I don't know what kind of wood this is. That's fine. I just love the shape of these, but I just feel like I'm spending too much time doing this and I did not intend to do that because I have so much stuff I need to do today while Cove is in daycare. So 
I'm gonna set that down for a little bit, change out of these clothes, go inside and start working on other things. I don't wanna take a shower yet because I plan to continue to work on the tables later today. Find some sort of paint remover because I've never used that before. Um, I just used whatever was left over when I first tried the oven cleaner method, which didn't really work very well. If you guys wanna know like my real to-do list for today, one is to call the IRS for making payments on something regarding the business. I don't know the full details, EFTPS, I think. I need to clean and oil the countertops. What is that? Sometimes there's like the randomest bugs. I have to prepare for the restock tonight. It's a very, very small drop for Miracotta. I also think I have a couple of emails that I need to answer for a brand deal, which I have been praying for to bring more opportunities for more income aside from the business so that I don't have to put as much time into the business. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today for the most part. And hopefully I can get all that done before I need to pick up Co from daycare. I'm just taking one of these soft dish towels that I use for washing dishes. I'm just going to sweep the countertops completely. A lot of crumbs, just dirt, dust, food, particles stay on these countertops. And I really don't do like a deep clean very frequently, maybe like once a week or so. You just wanna make sure that you have a completely clean surface free of any dirt or dust. I mean, personally, if you have a little bit of dirt and dust, it's not really gonna kill you for the countertops. I get a lot of questions about my butcher block and so far I love them. And I really do feel like everyone's experience is gonna be different based on how willing you are to keep maintenance of your butcher block. And while this is a chore for me, for sure, it's not something that I get super excited about. It is worth it for me because I like to cut and cook right on the surface. And I'm really not super anal or like, what is it? Perfectionist about Things. So like if there's a dent or a nick somewhere, I'm really okay with it. But some people aren't like that, so you might want more of a polished look and that's when I feel like stone or cement would be a better option for you. I just wiped everything down. I use this food grade mineral oil. It's food safe. Instead of using like a polyurethane or some sort of epoxy because I want to be able to cut on my countertops, like I said. I just got this from Amazon. I think I've used it twice now. So um, I like to be very generous with the oil. I probably should oil them a little more frequently than I do. I use paper towels because I don't have, I don't even know yet. I mean, if you have any recommendations for what type of towel to use that I can like easily clean after using it, then please let me know. A little disclaimer, this is just how I maintain our butcher block countertops at the moment. It's only been four months, so I'm sure as time passes by, I will be adapting my process. But as you saw, I generously just poured it straight onto the countertop and using the paper towel, I'm spreading it throughout, making sure not to miss the edges and the bottom of the lip. And I like to do it like one section at a time. So once all of that is evenly spread, I leave it on anywhere between 30 minutes to two hours. And then depending on how well the wood absorbed the oil, I might do it a second time. If not, or if I'm kind of in a hurry, then I'll just do it once. And then after that, I just take a new paper towel and wipe off the excess. It's super duper simple. I just left Home Depot and I just got off the phone with the IRS and made my payments that I needed to do. I just heard from Alec that he's coming home earlier than we thought he would. I'm getting a lot done, which I'm really, really happy about because productive is not really a word in my vocabulary for the majority of the week when I'm with Cove, just because I don't want to focus on accomplishing things other than simply just being with her and teaching her and loving her and feeding her and you know, all of that, because that's, that's what it is. I mean, of course, I think it's possible to have a productive day as a stay-at-home mom or as a homemaker. I just don't want, 
I, I can get a little carried away if I am so focused on my to-do list, you know? This is one of the other furniture pieces that I had planned to pick up today. This sofa was free on Facebook Marketplace. It's not in perfect condition, but I do plan to clean it with some upholster cleaner eventually. <laughs> but this is just some low quality footage of me and Alec trying to get it through our front door. I apologize for the terrible camera quality because it's nighttime and I really didn't actually plan to film. When I'm on a roll, I forget to film. This is our new sofa. Our new old sofa, rather. For the last time, I'm going to be changing the color of this wall in the fireplace area. I actually already have the paint right here. Just look, right there, that's the paint in that clear box. The windows here are my favorite. This was what sold me on the house, was all of the windows around. It's a very mid-century element of the house that I love. And I kind of just feel like I'm in like a tropical forest or something. Because we have a lot of plants out here. A lot of greenery during the day. And it just feels really nice whenever the lights on the porch are on and the windows are open. It just feels really nice. And I don't even know what, what we're... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello. What is that? <laughs> Dogs are going to freak out when they see this. Oh no. What? Now the dogs are suspicious. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to make this much more neutral. Hence why I wanted this sofa. Because it went really well with what we currently have. And... What we had before, the two chairs, they were very bold, and I just, I just felt very disjointed in here. That always bothered me. Also, that lamp is gonna go. I don't want that there anymore. Hey guys, it is, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It feels late. I haven't felt this physically exhausted in a very long time. I spent a lot of time today trying to strip those tables. I'm either not doing it as efficiently as I could, I probably need to look up some sort of technique on how to do it, but I'm pooped and I don't want to do it anymore and I honestly regret even starting it because now I have to finish it. So here's what we're at. And there's a mess on the porch, so. It just looks very, oof. I sanded this top down and it still has these marks that I don't know where, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I need to sand it down even more for these to be gone, but it's just rough because of all of the rounded edges. I might just like call it a night and pick up tomorrow perhaps when Alec gets back from work. Like, ew, all this stuff. I you should have honestly just either planned ahead or at least just did it in the driveway instead of on the porch because now it's disgusting and there's chemicals everywhere. Mm -hmm. 